Yo! Number one overall pick is me! Who do we take? I have not used Lamar Jackson. I have not used Dak. Oh, Dak's an ex- What just happened? What just happened? He just hanged it! All right, anyways. We got Dak. Hey, we got Dak, guys. Don't worry. We got Dak. Okay, we got Dak. Yo, you know what? We got Dak. So it's going to be between Dak, Lamar. We got Dak. It's fine. It's fine. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good, guys. Guys, so the, here's the thing. I wasn't going to take Patrick Mahomes. I wasn't going to take Aaron Rodgers. It was between those two other ones. Pretty much every single time, he's not here. But Godwin is in here. Godwin is here. We haven't used Godwin before. So what I'm thinking is we go Godwin here and then a tight end because we go back to back. I'm not doing defense ever again because my defense actually doesn't play. We're going to take Godwin. Godwin's a god. So we're going to pick him up. And then we're going a tight end. Just to, wait, who's the wait, who's the potential tight end? We can go tight end or a potential another receiver. If Kelsey's here, we got to take him. Yeah, we're going to take Kelsey here. So our offense is going to be absolutely disgusting. So we're going to take Kelsey and Godwin. Uh, like I said, uh, we're switching it up per usual. If you guys ever watch my videos, we always make sure we take different players. So that's what's happening. We're switching up the trend. All offense this time. No, don't tell me they took... Oh, they did take Kelsey, didn't they? Jason Kelsey's here, okay? The Kelsey bros. We're bringing them together. He has abilities. We got to take him, okay? We have to take him, all right? We're getting old linemen with abilities. This is our first time ever, I believe, actually. So our center's solid. And just to make sure we have a center with abilities, we go we go back to back, obviously. Y'all know what the business is. All right, we are going to draft a D lineman that's going to have abilities, hopefully. Uh, maybe not. Hello? Hel I know he doesn't have abilities, but I feel like he is probably the best. The Marcus Lawrence is still a freak. So I think he's honestly the best we could take, honestly. There is a left tackle with abilities. Oh, Whitworth. I mean, he does have abilities, but it's not really like he's that good. Since he does have abilities, last time I took him, he was actually horrible. But he does have abilities, so we will take him. I said I was going to get a good offense. Let's take him. Andrew Whitworth, you're going to give up 40 sacks but it, it, you know we'll take them so oh 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 my gosh we are gonna have the nastiest offense in the league adam thielen i love this man i was gonna go defense but i'm taking adam thielen as our second receiver this man's a god hey maybe we should get some defensive player um okay right, running back actually who's who's here at running back let's kind of peep the running back see what we got so Najee is officially gone. We're not gonna be taking Najee. Uh, nothing really. I don't really care about these running backs. No, no, like not trying to be toxic, boys. But um, y'all know what time it is, baby. We're bringing back players with players. We have Thielen. Gotta have Harrison Smith there, back there. Hopefully. So the one thing I like about Harrison Smith is he's gonna help out this booty defense in the run game, pass game. Someone took Winfield right before me. I'm throwing absolute hams. You know what time it is? Robert Quinn. I'm going to take Robert Quinn. You know what? I'm absolutely angry. 31 years old, but I'm going to take him. Okay? You know why I'm going to take him? Because he breaks records. That's why we're taking him. Record breaker. We're taking him. <laughs> I love how there's no thought process behind my decisions. I just be taking him. You know what? You know who we need out there? Shaq Thompson. Shaq Thompson. You know that? You know why we need him? Because we, we're, we need him. That's why we need him. This team's disgustingly OP. It's over, guys. It's over. We are on the clock. This player, no joke, was by far my best player that I've had. I'm taking Tart. This man was way better than any defensive player I've ever drafted in the free safety spot. So our safeties are set. I don't care if you see I'm stretching. This dude was actually way better than most players I've ever had. Here we go. I got to make this pick because I got to do what I got to do, okay? I got to take him. I got to take him as our slot, our last wide receiver on the team. Christian Kirk. I know I've used him before, and I know I like to switch it up, but I got to I gotta have him. All right? I got to have him. All right, we're taking Christian Kirk, the cheese master. This man is so good. I have to take him just one time. Richie Incognito just got taken. Dang it. That sucks. So I was going to take Richie at the right guard. Do we have a left guard? Oh, right, left, right tackle, I mean. Um, no, but Bulaga is there. Bulaga, we'll take him. All right, we'll take him. I just want a good old line, so we'll take him. 
And uh, I've decided who I want at running back. And it's official, guys. Our running back for the 2022 Tampa Bay Buccaneers is A.J. Dillon. Power back? Yeah. Yes, sir. We don't have a cornerback yet. You know, we may... Kyle Fuller's not bad, you know. Uh, he probably will. We'll take him as our number one, honestly. I'm down to take Kyle Fuller. You know, before we used to always get the top cornerbacks, and honestly, they never did anything for us. So that's why we're switching it up. Because sometimes when it comes to this game, I've noticed people that have worse cornerbacks and defensive players end up being somehow better. I don't know how that one works, but that's how it works sometimes. This man's actually very good as well. Sue, I want to stop the run game. I'm taking Sue. Let me get him. I know a lot of people may be lo absolutely loving this draft. Uh, I actually do want to complete my O-line, so we just need a right guard, left guard. The nice thing is, right guard and left guards realistically aren't as important in this game. In real life, they are. But in this game, they actually don't give up that many sacks compared to the left tackle, right tackle. That's pretty much where you're going to get pressure the most. But we are going to take the two highest left guard and right guards, and that's going to finish the O-line. So he should actually be set. We're going to have a stacked offense. That's all that matters. We're going to take Cook, baby. Let's take Jared Cook. Let's go. Hey, yo, guys, we forgot we went back to back. We're picking up Trey Waynes. Where you at, though? Trey! Trey, Trey! We're picking him up for this team. Just because Trey Wayne. He, uh, from the, the Wisconsin, you know what I'm saying? I know he went to Michigan State, but he's from Wisconsin, man. He, he went down the street from me, so I got to pick him up. You know, he went to high school, street down, you know what I'm saying? Got to pick him up. The no money spent cheese back in the day. I had something in mind, but actually, no, there wasn't it. Oh, that's what we have in mind, guys. We have a stacked offense. We need to make sure we continue stacking it with the fullback. Let's go, champ. We need a D tackle to fill this toilet up, right? We don't have a D tackle. We're just going to go highest overall. 82 overall. Hey, yo, Tyson, fill that toilet up with Dookie, baby. Since no one's taking Chris Harris, we're going to take his old self. Wait, what? It's not even like, wait, he just got taken. We just got bamboozled. Yo, the game just cheesed us. All right, we're going to take this man. No, we're going to take Anthony Brown. Anthony Brown. They just cheesed us. I don't know. <laughs> Why do you guys want? Okay, you know what? People are asking for Jalen Mills. We'll pick up Jalen Mills, man. 89 speed A. Hey, welcome to this team, Jalen. I'm allowing us to get Dunlap. Okay, we're going to pick up Carlos Dunlap. Ranked 1332. Nice. Not bad. All right. This is our final pick in the draft. We got to make sure you have a kicker. Yeah, that's the most kick power. Butker. Easy peasy. And that's our final pick. GG, boys. I know ever, I know there's a lot of people that may or may not be upset with this team. But I'm going to have a lot of fun with this team. Our receiving core is actually should be really, really fun to use. We're obviously, I'm. you guys know me. I really don't sit there and just throw deep balls over and over again. But these dudes here should be able to get open underneath for sure. Christian Kirk in the slot is definitely one of the best slot players in the game. Our O-line, we have two abilities and not like the craziest O-line, but at least we do have the two abilities. And then we have Kelsey, Cook. That's really good. Uh, we have Jake Fromm at backup. I know, hyped, hype, baby. But Dak will be sick. I like to use different quarterbacks, so it will be nice. First time ever using Dak with X-Factor, which is major. And then we have the deep. Then we have the, <clears throat> this is the, this is the defense. Now, Rhodes is definitely not going to be our number one. I'm, I mean, our number two. I'm definitely going to give Trey Waynes a number two. Rhodes will be our, uh, Anthony Brown will be our three. Yeah. So Anthony Brown will be our three. Rhodes will be our four. D-line A, Robert Quinn and Shaq Mason. I said Shaq Mason. Shaq Thompson will be dominating. Harrison Smith, you got to own this defense, buddy, because this ain't going to be it. <laughs> but I can also see this team somehow magically getting a lot more turnovers than all my other teams combined. So don't be surprised if our defense somehow gets a lot of stops. That's just how it plays sometimes. Our offense, though, what overall are they? 89 overall offense. That being said, guys, if you guys do enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like. Per usual, if you guys like the live streams and want to come through and watch me draft these, we do them every Friday at 12 o'clock at noon EST, Eastern Standard Time. And uh, with that being said, hope you guys do enjoy. We'll see how it goes. I think we can do numbers.